Now, I'm not one for long speeches, so I would like to thank my friends here at Abney for making me give probably what is going to be the longest speech of my life. <laughs> my transition came right at the beginning of budget negotiations, and I was proud to join and call on my Assembly Majority colleagues in taking a firm stand to put our families first. We believe that until we address the challenges facing our families at home, we cannot achieve a safer, healthier, and more prosperous New York. How much proof do we need that when children are hungry, they don't learn? When parents don't have childcare, they cannot work. When wages don't keep up with the cost of living, families lose their homes. The assembly majority fights for things like a stronger minimum wage, affordable housing, and for increased investment in public education. These are values we will never compromise and which I can assure you are the bedrock of our agenda in the coming year. We know that our schools and our schools across the state are facing some truly difficult times. This is why we added a new $75 million investment for struggling schools. Despite steady gains since the recession, we are still behind the mark on funding public education. The Assembly majority intends to work with the governor and our partners in city government to ensure that the MTA has adequate and sustainable foundation to keep this city moving safely and efficiently. As speaker, I want to work with our partners in the business community, hear their ideas on ways to improve our business climate and work together to grow our economy so that we can all grow and thrive.